you have become an associate with another IBO Toolbox member. Congratulations. After you make your introduction to them, you should assist them in completing their profile. To add value to the IBO platform and to grow your own brand recognition, it is recommended that you read and comment on other IBO members' news releases. Okay. Here is a handy tool that I use to assist me in actually reading the press releases. This program helps me to get through the material much faster than if I were to rely on my own reading capabilities. Since the program will read the material, I'm able to actually read a press release, then comment on it honestly in lieu of just opening one up and commenting without ever reading that person's labor-intensive press release. Our guru Chris has commented recently about individuals not actually reading one's press releases. It appeared to her that people were just opening a press release and generically posting the same comment to each press release they open. In effect, showing evidence that the press release was never read. Again, this tool uh, should assist you in actually reading a press release. It will also read anything you copy and paste into it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, then use this little free Microsoft tool. So what you do, we're going to begin. We go to a uh, new tab. I normally go to Google. Go into my search bar right here and put your cursor into the search bar and type in Microsoft Speech SDK 5.1 and hit enter on your keyboard. Once you hit enter on the keyboard, you'll be taken to this search area. This first item here, Download Speech SDK 5.1 from Official Microsoft Download Center is the one that we're going to be focusing on. So I left click on it to launch it. In the next window, I will be looking for this download button here. I'll left click on it. This next screen that it will take me to, I want to focus on this file right here. And what I do is I left click on this radio button to the left of it here. That activates this next button here. So I'll left click on this next button. This pop up here is what we focus on next. You left click to save the file and it's downloading the file onto my computer. I know where it's going to be stored on my computer and that's what you have to make sure that you record and understand where this file is going to be placed. Once it's finished, I go to my computer and find that file which is this one here and what I do next is I right click on the file and then this pop-up I'll choose run as administrator you could double click on the file to launch it also this is just a technique that I use once I left click on run as administrator this pop-up pops up I'll left click on yes this pop-up here is an extraction program that automatically defaults on my computer to extract the file content of that exe file. Once I left click on unzip, it would unzip it into the folder that I've chosen to extract those files. 
Once those files are extracted, it shows me here that it's completed. I'll acknowledge by left clicking on OK. Then I'll close this box here because that's done now. Now I turn my attention to this setup.exe file. I'll right click on it or you can double click to run it and I'll choose run as administrator. At this pop up I'll move forward in my here it is loading the program doing all that it needs to configure itself and now it's asking me a question in my install I'll move forward by clicking next since I've installed it once before I'm moving forward by left clicking on next if it's a new install just move forward till you get to the install button here and left click on install just move progressively by just answering yes and then once you hit install it'll load the program this box here pops up what you'll do is go ahead and finish so now the program is loaded on the computer I no longer need this here internet search window so I can close it the next thing that I do is I'll drop down to view my desktop. I will go to my start button and left click on it. I'll go to all programs and left click on it. And then what I'm searching for is this Microsoft Speech SDK 5.1 folder. And I'll left click on that folder to open it up next I want to focus on this tools folder I'll left click on it to open it and in that folder I want to focus on this TTS app file or icon what I do here is I right click on that and this pop-up pops up I'll go to send to move across and I'll choose desktop and I'll left click on desktop that will in turn send that file to my desktop since I have two I'm gonna just go ahead and delete this one the next thing that I normally do is I'll drag left click and hold and drag that program onto my taskbar and since I had it there already, it would just overwrite itself. But that way I would have the program on my taskbar. Now I will go to the internet. And now we're getting ready to show you how to use the program. What you do is you highlight the text. Whatever technique that you use to highlight, use it. What I normally do is put my corner to the left of whatever I want to highlight then I left click and hold then I drag down and put everything that I want highlighted into this blue imagery that you see here and I want to get this article in marketing so I'll take my cursor to the end of the word marketing then I let go the left mouse button now all of that text is highlighted the next thing that I do on my keyboard I will type a control I will do a control C and that will copy everything that is highlighted to the clipboard so I'll re highlight everything here then I'll do a control C on my keyboard then I go down to my talking program and left click on it to activate it here at this window I highlight the text that's in this box here and I'll delete what is in there out then I will do a control V to highlight 
to paste and I'm saying this here control plus V control V paste okay whatever's in the clipboard control C copies whatever's in the clipboard so now we've pasted our information into this square from this press release that's in the background then all you have to do is just left click on this speak button interacting and attracting and with social media marketing tactics published window. on may 10th 2016 for additional information click here any feedback would along. be great most important article of your life so make sure you read this and leave comments and right here is just one of the articles of the 100 articles across multiple subjects and after that are bringing me prospects I'll and let's and we need these to too. Release, if you want to see us live, just click http://moneymaker.com/0 and just stop the stop button. Okay. And if you want to read a second article, you just highlight it, copy it to the clipboard, Control C. Go to your talking program and paste that new information there and hit the speak Build button. List to any business. Left click back Published into your on document. May 10, 2016 for additional information. And click here how to build a list to any business. Which are reading. See how people are making two thousand five hundred dollars or more a week on article. Click your HTTP www.imjustlivinglife.com slash buildmylist.html. The first. And you can do the same thing on an, a press release that's on the wall by just pressing in, opening up that press release. And these are not my associates, but if you want to read a, a press release, just highlight the text. I'm hoping you understand how to highlight and just drag down until everything that you want is in the window and it's highlighted with this feature, this look that you see here. Left click and let go of the left mouse button. Do a control C to copy. Open up your talking program. Highlight that text and paste your new information into the box. And the power speak, of being positive published on May 11, 2016 for additional information. Click here. It is not easy to stay upbeat and positive at all times. Follow along with the reading. However, you need that mindset as That's the basic requirement for transforming honestly, your life and being successful. There are some tips on how you can always maintain a positive disposition in life. Focus on the positive. This is the first thing that you need to do if do. you want to clear your mind of Honestly, all negativities. On Train it to see releases. only the best in people and the good things in any situation. Help you out. However, you perceive a situation affects your, your response. If the mind can pro